What's up everybody? You got the car man and today I've got a System 2 Lean 171 on a 02 Corolla. And uh, anyway, I got an idea that it's actually the PCV valve, but there's a process like I actually I'm going to check the vacuum testing on this just to see. And I thought I would show you a real quick easy video on how I actually spray around because this gets brought up a lot. A vacuum leak can cause you a lot of trouble. Let me show you exactly what's going on with this. I'll push the live data menu. By the way, any parts used in here, we are an Amazon affiliate and they will be listed. And my goal today is to give you information that you can use to save your family some money. And uh, hopefully own a subscription from you. Or get a sub from you guys. Also, I'm broadcasting daily on Instagram while this is coming up. And it is up now and what we're interested in is the fuel trim. There it goes. Okay. Even though it says zero, it's just taking a second for the computer to catch up. See that minus, minus, minus? It's never going to the positive. Well, may have just did that. Anyway, it should be bumping from like, let's say minus two to plus two-ish. But the warmer this gets, she just stays in the negative. And that's usually what we're dealing with. That actually didn't seem that bad. Let's just go down here and see if we can take another look. Mass overflow. Fuel trim. Anyway, alright, we, we'll go up here. We'll let this thing warm up a little bit because yesterday she was running like uh, three volts behind ish. There's one six, but it was jumping up to say three five, almost a ten. And today, so I'm thinking it is the PCV valve because maybe it sat overnight and opened back up. Now it's kind of operating like it's supposed to. But still a great opportunity to show you how to find a vacuum leak, so hang on. Alright, obviously we're gonna take off the engine cover, which I've already done. On a Corolla, it's just a little plastic cover with two 10 millimeter bolts. But we kind of want to concentrate our efforts right here on this intake. And we see it's a nice aluminum intake. And so we want to verify that there's not an intake leak. So it's real simple. Just get you some uh, carb cleaner. Brake cleaner, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And we're looking for any change in the engine. Not hearing anything from there. All right, so the next thing I'm interested in, is you see right here at the air breather, I'm gonna try from the throttle body right here through the air breather and see if we got any leaks. Not uncommon for you to have a, a leak in the uh, line here. Looks nice and solid, no problem. All right, next little place that you could have a leak is Right here at the brake booster, but you'll usually be feeling it. This has a lot of volume, and just follow it all the way in. And any more that you got that you think could possibly be an air leak. I'm just going to put some down towards the bottom just to see. I'm not hearing any pitch difference. That's really leading me to believe that this is a PCV valve, which is located right here most cars have them GMs use something a little different but um, anyway it's just a positive crankcase ventilation they stick open which will in let them have a uh, a lean condition because they're sucking air so anyway guys um, it's about it really you just go through and you just kind of test it get you some good old part, parts cleaner or whatever and you just go through and anywhere you see there's an there's a possibility that you can have an air leak just spray the um, spray it with the cleaner because, like I said, it will accelerate the engine because it, that's going to go straight into the intake if there's a leak, and that's how you actually locate it. Meanwhile, um, you guys have any questions on this or you need any guidance on it, I'm always here for you, as you know. And uh, once again, if you get a chance, subscribe, and we're going to put one out on how to change this PCV right here. So if you have a Toyota and want to know how to do that, I can let you know. Meanwhile, peace out from the car man. I wish you all well, love and happiness and wealth and all that good stuff. See ya.